Hello, my beautiful Virgos. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Seven of Cups. Okay. So many of you probably clicked on my reading because you are facing some sort of confusion. Now, this could be an inner conflict within yourself or it's someone else in your energy that is having an inner conflict, but you are feeling the result of it. You are feeling this energy as well, like someone being confused. So, you know, it's causing you to be confused or uncertain. Here's how you will know who this is. They tell you a lot of things, especially pertaining to their emotions. Okay, Virgo, and they offer you many different things. But, they, but it always is your job to figure out or differentiate what they meant versus what they said in the spur of the moment. I feel like you are involved with a impulsive individual, possibly even someone who is very unpredictable. So here's what I see. It's almost like you want your person to clearly decide what they want from this connection because you feel like they are not uh, doing so. You feel like, again, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of scattered thoughts and you just never know with this person. You you feel like, okay, one day they tell me something um, and then the next day they tell me something else. And then, you know, they do things that are very different from what they tell you. So their actions are not going hand in hand with their words. Could be a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel like this person wants to come forward. I do see that this could be um, a, wa a water sign or like a younger water sign. But again, you don't trust this person. The fish in the cup talks about an unpredictable energy. Even if you're communicating with this person right now, the thing is, it's not straightforward communication. You're still feeling confusion here. You're still like, okay, what do you want from me? What do you want from this bond? Where is this going, right? It's almost like there is this much needed conversation. There's like this urge to have this much needed conversation, but you feel like it is being, um, you know, uh, hidden, right? Um, in a sense of like, just speaking on surface level or just, it, it's like someone here is trying to be lighthearted or have like a, you know, a lighthearted conversation when they're holding back a lot of emotion. Like what they want to do is have a heartfelt or heart to heart conversation here, but they're going about it in a very lighthearted way. So it's, you know, it could be making you view them as someone who's being immature or again, someone who's a tad bit closed off here. The pages do talk about messengers. So yeah, you could be communicating with this person. Um, but it, but it lets me know that again, you're more so focused on the intent behind these conversations, behind what your person tells you. Someone you have history with. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bottom of the deck. So, you know, what I see here is you do make this person very happy. We have all cups energy here, Virgo, which talks about someone who is operating from a space of emotion. But the thing is, there could be, um, they could be lacking in the practical department, like actually doing something about it. Or you feel like, again, you don't trust this person because there's some sort of immature tendency here. Six of Cups, you know, this person feels very nostalgic or they feel like, you know, they've known you for a long time or they've known you in a past life here. Um, there's someone who wants to come forward with a generous act, but I just feel that what they're telling you right now is either not believable or, again, the fact that their actions are not following through with what they're telling you is what's creating some sort of doubt in your mind. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Four of Pentacles, Page of Swords. So this could be someone who's speaking to you, but again, they're holding back their emotions right now. It's not someone who's being completely open with you because with the Page of Swords, it's someone who is spying on you. So there are certain things that you're that this person wants to inquire um, or they want to ask you about, but they'd rather try to figure out on their own. So, you know, again, this could rub you the wrong way because again, I feel like many of you want open communication here. Page of Cups says I split the deck and we have the Page of Cups twice now. So, you know, this person is definitely trying to offer you their cup of love. They're trying to offer you something small in, in hopes that it would, you know, uh, grow into something larger here. But the question at hand may be, is that what you're looking for, right? Is, is that enough? So for some reason, Virgo, I feel like this has more to do with you in a sense of like, you are the one with the ball in your court. Like you may be trying to decide, do I really want to put up with this? Is this enough? Is this what I want from this connection? Like you could be going through that period of trying to decide what you want. And if you don't know what you want, maybe you're trying to decide what you do not want, what you're willing to not tolerate. 
<clears throat> What's the Seven of Cups? Three of Wands. Okay. So this person is focused on the future here, but this could also be an energy of them waiting for some sort of hint from you. Now, many of you just want direct communication. I keep getting that as a persistent download here. And, you know, again, with the Three of Wands, they have high hopes for the future, but there's a lot that they are holding back. It's someone who thinks about you more than they speak to you, or they think, of, think about you a lot, and even if they speak to you, it's always on a topical level. This person could be trying to downplay their emotions at this time, Virgo, or it's someone who is, again, like, I keep getting a persistent download of someone who is trying to have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, or they have so much emotions here and they want to pour it out to you, but they try to go about it in, like, a lighthearted way, or they try to play it cool, but this can come off in a sense of um, you questioning their uh, motives, or if they're actually interested, or the, um, the uh, authenticity of their emotions here. You see this person as someone who comes and goes, or like someone who only communicates with you when it's convenient for them. Like, you know, when you think about this connection, it could be a connection that is either, um, you know, going at a fast uh, pace here, or it just slows down and comes to a stop. So it's a very on and off connection here, which again is causing you to feel uncomfortable or uncertain, right? It's like, if I'm trying to make a decision for the long term, I can't do it based off of the in and out energy. It's either you're in or you're out, or I'm going to have to, you know, uh, make the decision for you. Like, that's what I feel here. Yeah, the moon. You still feel like there's a lot hidden from you. This is someone who thinks about you a lot, and they may have even caused you some sort of pain in the past here, but I feel like the pain was caused because of the uncertainty, because of that in and out energy. Because for some of you, it's like, okay, you never, it, it's almost like you, you're not deciding what you want here, okay? But then you still speak to me all the time. So it's like, what is it, <laughs> right? So it's like, because this could be someone where you feel like they're indecisive, but somehow they always end up coming back to you or somehow they always end up reaching out to you and you're like, okay, but what is the purpose behind this? And it may even make you feel like this is just someone who really likes your attention or like when you put them on a pedestal and that sort of thing. But um, again, if that's not what you're looking for here and you're looking for more of like a commitment or a connection, of course you would want the outcome to be this person making a firm decision is what I see. Uh, Page of Cups, what do they want to communicate? They want a, a new start here. You know, this talks about someone who is trying to have a new beginning, but they're attaining some sort of knowledge that's helping them understand, um, you know, a you better or this connection better. Okay, there could be children in this dynamic. If that's not the case, there's definitely a difference when it comes to how you guys express um, your emotions to each other, right? Maybe you feel like when it comes to expression, this person is very held back or they have an immature way of handling things. Like this is someone who can feel uncomfortable about their emotions or when it comes to conversations pertaining to their emotions, they're very like, oh, I don't wanna talk about that or like just very closed off, you know what I mean? A lot of swords energy very stressed out very worried about this connection and for some of you you know you're at the verge of cutting this person out with that queen of swords energy or you're cu you're cutting them out because it, you're not willing to tolerate this be this behavior heavy emphasis on indecision like if this person continues to be indecisive you're probably just going to make a decision for them or you feel like someone being indecisive is a decision within itself if that makes sense virgo six of cups Three of Cups, yeah. <clears throat> wanting to come together, wanting to cheer you up, wanting to be in more of a fun and loving energy, which is fine if that's the outcome that you're looking for. But I will say for many of you, you feel that this person is taking things too lightly or too slowly, not taking you, um, taking what you want from this connection as serious as you are, you know, that sort of thing. So it's really making you question this person's motives is what I'm picking up on. Three of Wands. Yeah, holding back some sort of love offer here, like wanting a, a turn of events, but this is also a very guarded individual. And again, guys, this could just be like a them problem. Like there's something going on within them where they're, you know, blocking out communication or they don't feel comfortable with their emotions and they're not accepting their emotions. So they're having a hard time, um, you know, 
explaining their emotions to you. But not only that, I feel like many of you feel this person is projecting their inner world onto this connection. And you're wanting them to heal something or come out of a um, closed off energy in order to pursue something tangible. Three of Wands. Like, I feel like this is someone you have a lot of fun with, right? Six of Swords, yeah, trying to move closer to you. Um, but this is someone you have a lot of fun with. I do see that in the cards. Like, this is more of a lighthearted, fun energy. Like, um, you know, someone coming in to make something up to you. They feel like you're very, you know, they have a great time with you. and But they're not digging deep when it comes to their emotions. Even though with the Six of Cups, they feel like you guys are soulmates or they feel that there's some sort of very deep emotion here. That's why they're always drawn to you right? This is someone who has yet to explore that side of them or they keep suppressing that, um, you know, all those emotions there. Six of Swords, Three of Wands, yeah, like wanting to move closer towards you. There's something that they need to leave behind and for many of you, it's their thinking pattern. It's the fact that they're being indecisive. It's someone who needs to make a clear decision in order to move closer to you because the fact that they're indecisive is causing you confusion as well, Virgo, or it's causing you to, um, you know, feel very unsure about this situation. Like you're like, I don't know if I want to make a decision or how am I supposed to make a decision when this feels so all over the place? What's the Six of Swords? Yeah, the devil. Some of you may be involved with the Capricorn. I'm just going to turn the card around, guys, because of the nudity, but... I feel like this person thinks about you day and night and you would be surprised because they don't communicate it to you. You know, um, I, I keep getting repetitive messages here, but essentially what I'm picking up on is someone who feels that they have a lot of emotions for you, but they're almost trying to figure out why they feel the way that they do instead of acting on their feelings. So this tells me that your person could have some sort of insecurity when it comes to, you know, this connection or them feeling that like it could be a case of self-sabotage because I don't really see any ill will behind you know, this person, but I just see them as someone who's a bit, um, they're just not comfortable with how they feel. They're not used to expressing their emotions, right? So the con of that is you're perceiving them as someone who's confused or someone who is uncertain or someone who doesn't know what they want here. As much as there's emotions here, there needs to be acceptance of those emotions is what I see. And because your person is having a hard time accepting their emotions or understanding them, they're having a harder time, you know, verbalizing it to you. This person feels like a very, very deep soul tie with you. Like the Six of Cups could be where you guys have like a purpose together here or they feel like you guys are destined to be, uh, you know, kind of like a past life connection. But it's almost like trying to figure out why do I feel the way that I do instead of just like, okay, you know what? I am in love with Virgo. I am going to move forward with it. Something about this connection scares them. That's why I said it could be a case of like self-sabotaging or some sort of like intimidation factor here. They have to leave behind something that's deeply embedded in them and embedded in their mental because the swords are the mental energy. So it's like a thinking pattern because it's all clarifying the seven of cups, right? So this is someone who keeps um, overanalyzing a situation, okay? This is someone who is um, very attached to thinking that things are not going to work out for them or someone who just likes to keep relationships on a surface level because they are afraid to dig deeper. They are afraid to... Um, explore like the depths of how a, the depths of a connection or like where this could potentially go because they tell themselves that it's going to fail before it even does so someone is in their own way right now is what i see um devil again it could be an attachment right elsewhere doesn't have to be another person guys could just be like a coping mechanism something like i said that is embedded in their mind that they're trying to let go of but it's very difficult for them they also feel very attached to you that's why they're obsessively thinking about you you know, someone who feels very bonded to the situation, but it's like, again, you know, there, there's more like suppressing than expressing. Page of Wands, what do they want to communicate? Also, how you would know who this is, there's like a lot of back and forth with you and this person. Like when you guys speak, it could be like, this person could be very passionate. They could tell you a lot of loving things. You know, you could tell that they're passionate about you, but it's almost like once they're like they they're expressive to an extent it's like okay i've said enough now now i'm just gonna pull back pull back my energy you know and so you're kind of like i can't have you just you know with that knight of wands like come in express your emotions and then just leave you know once you feel like you're feeling uncomfortable or you're feeling you know uncertain you just wish this person would be more open with you they feel like you're going to walk away from them because you're the queen of pentacles here eight of cups and they feel like 
you know, you see this cup here, right, in the sky with the moon. It's symbolic for like a what if, right? What if I was able to let go of my, uh, you know, thinking pattern? Or what if I was able to let go of an attachment? What if I was honest with Virgo about my emotions? What if I was honest with myself about my emotions for Virgo? What could we potentially be? Those are the questions. So this is someone who is like, again, they feel like they're going to self-sabotage this connection or they feel like that's what they've done here. And they're trying to, you know, somehow, you know, reconcile or, or, or you know, uh, speak to you again or you guys are speaking. But, you know, this is someone who's very hard on themselves. They're in their own way. Like what they think about the situation in their mind is not the reality of it. Like they can paint things to be much worse than they are. Everything could be completely fine. But if they're overanalyzing the situation, overthinking the situation, or telling themselves something that is false, you tell yourself something enough, you're probably going to believe it, right? So this could be someone, again, self-sabotaging the connection. Page of Wands. Yeah, look at this, guys. You have three pages. Some of you just feel like they have to let go of immature tendencies, right? When it comes to expression. For example, this is someone who tell you know they have emotions for you, but they're not all the way open. So you're like, okay, you know, we're grown here. Can we just speak about our emotions and be okay with them? Then the page of wands. You feel you feel like it's great that they're driven by passion, but you also feel like they're impulsive. Page of swords. You know, you feel like they they want to speak to you. You feel like they have a lot of questions, but they never ask you. They rather just figure it out on their own. So with all, you know, all three of these immature tendencies coming together, it's really throwing you off. This may be the very thing that they need to let go of. You could be like the first person they've actually fell in love with, or like you could be like their first real relationship here. Like the, the person that they actually had a real relationship with. That's what I'm picking up on. Because there's a lot of discomfort when it comes to like growing out of uh, immature ways or growing out of an old way of thinking. Yeah, they're tired of acting like uninterested with that four of cups in reverse. They don't want to act um, uninterested. They don't want this to be a missed opportunity. So as much as they go back and forth in their mind, it's between expressing their emotions to you, not feeling comfortable doing so, but then knowing that if they don't do so, you're going to walk away. We've seen the queen of pentacles as well as the eight, um, eight of cups, which this person is predicting that you're going to walk away from them if they continue to act the way that they are. Uh, three of cups. Like this person has a major crush on you. Like they, they, you know, and the reason why I say crush is even if you have history with them, like their feelings keep developing for you. Like they still feel the same way about you, but they're really just in their own way is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, eight of wands, nine of wands, wanting to communicate with you, but then constantly holding back or, or feeling like, you know what, I, I'm coming off too strong or I don't know how to. Like they overthink what they want to tell you. Three of cups. star card some of you may be involved with an Aquarius here but it talks about wanting to heal this connection I feel like this is someone who has a lot of faith and hope but you know if you're wondering their next steps I feel like it will be something small like it will be a kind gesture or, or it will be this person coming forward and expressing their emotions to you right guys but again with with the star the motive here is to heal the connection it is to if it's not to heal the connection you're like a dream come true like if you have not if you have yet to have a commitment with this person the star could talk about like having faith or hope and um something that could you know feel very um great or amazing right so it's like there's a lot of fantasizing going on there is this energy of this person feeling like you're one of a kind um but i do see them being in their own way i feel like the next steps here possibly are um you know, trying not to be nonchalant. You know, if this is someone who's downplaying their emotions, they're definitely going to open up emotionally, but to an extent is what I see. I can't just say that they're going to be completely open with you because that's not what the cards are telling me, but I do see that they are, you know, um, wanting to express their emotions to you. And again, guys, I don't see it as ill will. I don't see it as this person, you know, essentially hiding something from you. I see it more like they're just not expressive with their emotions. So the only thing they're hiding is their emotions. And it's because they keep assuming that, you know, they're like it could be someone who's fearing rejection or like I said, someone who's just not used to expressing themselves here. But a lot of love for you, a lot of hope, you know, with the star, they do feel like you're one of a kind or you're the only person that makes them feel this way. Okay. So my wonderful Virgos, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. 
And uh, thank you so much for your time.